like it's good. Today's video, I will be using hair from Miscara Hair and this is their water wave hair. They sent me three bundles of 26 inches, 24 and 22 with an 18 inch frontal. So, um, to do a frontal wig, I've watched lots of videos on YouTube and I've not seen this step, so I'm going to be more um, emphasized on this step. So, one, how to place your frontal on your mannequin head or on your wig curl. So, you try to find where the center of the frontal is and you place it one step forward, not directly on. Look at where my wig curl starts, and this is where my frontal hair starts, my frontal hairline starts. So, I'm going to place it this way and I'll get my tip pins. Then, I'll come to this side and stretch it out a little and use my tippings as well now i'm going to check if it's same length as ear by ear so um look at this side but this side is not the same so this is how you know your frontal is not in the middle so now i'm going to place the middle once more and since i know this side has less frontal so i'm going to try to shoot it to the right I'm going to stretch my um, lace frontal and make sure it's flat as possible and get my teeth in. Stretch it, make sure it's flat as possible. Don't worry about the front. So, and I watched on one YouTube video, she said you should try to make like an M in the front so this part has to like rise and not look flat then that's how you know you're fixing your front up properly and then this part so you can see it's really flat down and this will help me sew the front side properly so i'll go ahead and do the same thing on this other side and i'll be back the front of your front side should look something like this so now i'm just going to go ahead and paint the front because i don't want to over so it's at the back, something like that. To start sewing, I double my need my thread and put it in the needle. I like to use the curved needle for my frontal because I feel like it helps. It makes it easier to sew, and I like to tie my knot. I don't do the other stitching method. I only tie my knot at the end. So now the first thing I'm going to do is put the needle in the front half and in the wig cap and in this first part you're not going to suit the elastic band you're just going to suit the material on the elastic band so I hope your front half have that nice stretch the first one I'm just going to put the needle and take it out then the second one I'm going to 
like this so you just put your needle that's why you use the cuff needle because it will just come directly in between the two thread and you make it tight you do the same thing close to each other for the first stitches you do a little bit close to each other so it can hold firm because you're cutting out the material underneath the frontal and you don't want to get stuck pulling out so you have to do that very well and i'll just go ahead and show you you see like i just pull my needle like this with the two thread in like a u and then i just put the needle in between In between the thread and I pull. bundles look like this is the 26 inches in water wave and yeah i'll be doing a review very soon so just stay tuned subscribe to my channel and you'll get posted and for this i'm going to double it like this and start with the back i only double one bundle and start at the back now you're going to um, take this part and put it just above the elastic band this is the elastic band and you just put it just above done with your warm bundle this is how your hair should look like like a U so when you're sewing it you sew it like a U and 
the side view. Can you see? This is how when they're done with one bundle. So now when I want to start sewing the second bundle, which will be single weft, and I'll just sew it straight rather than making it like a U. I'll sew it in straight lines like this. So I get to the top and finish the top bundle. Second bundle. two bundles this is how your hair should look like 22 inches I think there will be space to put this at the back, but I'm not interested. I'm really tired. <laughs> so I'll just keep this one. And yeah, this is how you make your frontal wig. So I might include how I plug the hairline and bleach the knots, or I might not, I'm not sure. But in case I do, I'm going to include it in this video or maybe in a different video because this video seems very, very long. So yeah.